the UN faced nearly insurmountable opposition while collecting facts about the fighting in Tigray. The Ethiopian government rejected investigators' access to areas outside of Addis Ababa. Sudan and Djibouti also blocked them from talking to Ethiopian refugees within their borders, and interviewing people in Tigray remotely was hampered by continuous telecommunications blackouts. And yet, investigators this week released their first report for the UN Commission of Human Rights Experts on Ethiopia. Its conclusion? There are reasonable grounds to believe that parties to the conflict have committed war crimes and violations and abuses of human rights. Those crimes include the shelling of civilians and carrying out of extrajudicial killings. They also say Ethiopian troops raped and sexually abused civilians since the conflict began in November of 2020. The commission also suggested that Addis Ababa uses starvation as a weapon by restricting humanitarian aid into the Tigray region. The tactic has left millions of people in dire straits. However, Ethiopian's government has rejected the accusations. The report itself is self-contradictory, self-contradictory and biased, which doesn't uh, 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 pay any attention to the atrocities committed in Afar and Amhara region, but solely, solely uh, uh, focusing on Tigray. Therefore, we have no other option but to reject this report as you have rejected the resolution that established it and the very establishment of this mechanism as well. But the UN report also accuses the Tigray People's Liberation Front of committing similar atrocities. A survivor of the TPLF offensive in Amhara told the commission, Tigrayan fighters came to my house, dragged me outside, and beat me in the mud. My husband arrived and they killed him. Their colonel and three guards raped me. The colonel raped me twice. When he was done, I crawled to my crying children. More soldiers came, beat me, and took my grain. On Tuesday, the TPLF said Eritrean forces have joined Ethiopian troops to launch a full-scale offensive in Tigray. If confirmed, it marks an escalation in the conflict since fighting restarted last month. Fighting the UN says, is likely to cause further atrocities.